What's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. So today we're going to be out here shed hunting. We're going to be looking for this field first. It's, it's that time of the year again. Deer are all dropping their antlers so I've come out here and we found some sheds here last year. But uh, yeah, we're just going to check out this field first and then we're going to go uh, to the fence lines in the woods. Alright guys, so I was just walking through this field and there is a bunch of tracks just coming through here. There's several groups of them, so I'm just gonna follow these and see if it'll take us to any antlers. Alright guys, I think I just found our first antler. Hopefully maybe. Um Yep, looks like it. Here we go. It's buried under here. Wow, that thing is broken. I think that's really old. Yeah, that's really old, but we found a nailer, so. There's the first one. All right, so I just got done scanning this field. Just gonna go ahead and put the shed just by the car here. That thing's been there a while. That's not dropped this year, but I really only spent a little, little bit amount of time on this field. Uh, I've got a lot of ground to cover. Lots of woods and stuff where I think I'll have a better shot at finding them. I'm on a short time limit. This is just a big field. And uh, I feel like I'm going to hit this again another day. Right now we're going to go ahead and look for some sheds along the tree lines. Well guys, they definitely use this spot a lot. There's some fur there. And there's just tracks all along here, so I bet we'll find some antlers along here. Man, I just walked back in the woods right here. And over here, there are a ton, ton of deer fur patches. And there's a dead deer. Yeah, I don't know what happened. We're just I'm just going to hop the fence and investigate it a little bit more. That is a lot of fur. Man, that's terrible. There's a patch over there too. Walk on over here. Yikes. Man, that's just gruesome. That's terrible. Alright, we'll leave it be and continue our search. There's the honkers. And yet again, another gruesome tragedy. I don't know what's going on, but this is like I don't know. And here's the other foot. There's a foot right there. And there's a foot right here. Huh, this, I guess we could call this a foot trail. Ha! <laughs> All right guys, so I just walked through a little bit of the woods. I'm up on the uh, railroad track right now. So what I think I'm gonna do is I, I found some deer trails. So I'm following those to the field here. I'm gonna walk the field and then later I'm gonna come back and go through these woods and this railroad track again and see if like any deer jump fences over here and left them over here. You guys have been scanning the edge of this field here and I think I see another shed in here. So run in here and check it. Yep, there's a shed. All right, Let's see if I can get in here. Nice. There we go. Sweet. That's a good one. So second shed of the day. Man, that's a pretty nice one. Looks like it was probably an eight or niner. It's got a little piece broken off there, but yeah. 
There we go, good shed, just found on the in between these two fields here. So we're gonna keep looking and uh, see if we can find any more. All right guys, so I just got done with the shed hunt. I was only out there for about an hour and uh, we got these two sheds. We've got a really nice one here. It's not too broken, it's broken in one spot. And then we've got this old one. I think it was sitting out there for a while. It was just buried. And so, yeah, it's got lots of cracks, tines are broken. So I think maybe one of the uh, disks the field, it popped it back up to the surface. But And then we also have this little bonus insulator from the old railroad. So that's kind of neat. But anyways, I think I'm going to be going back out tomorrow. So I'm going to complete this video tomorrow. I really only skimmed the edges of the fields today. So tomorrow I'm going to actually dig in, go through the woods, and uh, go to the fields on the other side of the land. So stay tuned, and tomorrow I'm going to go over, and we'll see if we can find any more. Okay, guys, so we did go out the next day, but it was just an absolute bust. We walked the entire property, uh, all the rest of the fence lines. We walked through the railroad tracks, all through the woods and everything, just didn't find anything. But we did find this. This is pretty cool. Ready? Oh, yeah. We just found this laying in the railroad tracks, just a cool little lighter. Pretty awesome. But I also wanted to share with you guys, uh, my dad actually went down to our land, uh, the Lake of the Ozarks, and he found this. Check that baby out. So he was actually out doing some brush hogging, and so he, uh, he went to one of our feeders that was out there, and he found this. He calculated the score... Um, it scored 154, and uh, the net score was 148. This is just a big sucker. I don't think the video can really capture the size of this thing. This, the mass on this is just incredible. Like, it's hard for me to fit my hand around the base. And then also... It does have some spots eaten out by mice, so we might fill those in with some epoxy. But this is just an absolute monster. Oh, 11 points. It's huge. Thanks for watching, guys. Uh, it was a really fun shed hunt. I didn't find as many as I thought I would, but uh, still one really good antler. Yeah, didn't find as many as I wanted to, but this thing is just an absolute monster. But yeah, thanks for watching, guys. Make sure to like this video if you liked it, which kind of makes sense. But comment any video ideas you want me to do, and uh, subscribe if you haven't to check out more on the channel. Alright, so I tried to keep this outro pretty short because I want to show you a quick little clip of the deer head. So uh, thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you next time.